it's me, Agatha Hoglet, back again with some spooky cricket predictions. It has been a tough four months of no live cricket, and I have felt your love from all around the world. But here I am, like a determined fungus. I'm back. There's been no IPO either, for some. But others like me have had plenty of time to get my fix of IPL. That is, the quick and painful laser treatment of getting hair removed. Oh, you should see where my... Never mind. But cricket is back. And it is kicked off with England versus West Indies in a three-test match series. My first prediction of cricket's return is that crowd numbers will be pitifully down. Now we know why Joe Root was struggling with form in the last Ashes series. Do the man. His head was clearly in other places. He thought he had the job done in February last year, celebrating with a century in the final test of that series. But he's always been a little premature, especially when it comes to Ashes runs. Rather than scoring runs through the covers, he was scoring under the covers. Eventually getting there and celebrating with full force in New Zealand with a double century in the second test after finding out for certainty that he had conceived. And when will we see the future to the skipper's throne of English cricket emerge from his sack? Blasted blighter! Boy child will inconveniently be born on the second day of the first test against the West Indies on July 9. 11.37am in the morning and the child's name ooh well I'll be in a nod to his nemesis bestie the fetal host looks settled on Warner Climaxius Root Warner Root Warner Root oh dear the Aussies will no doubt make a mockery of this they'll start calling him what a route. Oh, I must contact them immediately. But let's finish this first. So who will lead the rootless English team in the first test due to the birth of this untimely child? A lot of experts are saying Ben Stokes has too much on his plate, but there are workings in the background. Someone of great importance at the ECB suggests the root of the problem will bring the best out of Stokes. And so it is. That Big Ben chimes in as the face of English cricket. And it's the master stroke they'll need. But look here. The West Indies are brimming with confidence coming into the series of the English aren't able to spit and polish their balls to call swing. Let's face it, nobody spits like the English. They've been spitting on things and people for centuries, master spitters. And they're spitting chips about it too. This advantage will see the Caribbean convoy sanitise the English, keeping them safely, socially distanced from the Wisdom Trophy at the end of the series. All oh, the mystic ball is calling me back. I see Pakistan. They land in England with a squad of 20. Ten players were left behind with positive COVID-19 tests, but six of those players have since joined the squad in England. Four remain in Pakistan awaiting negatives, which is a positive and I can positively state, without being negative, that a negative will indeed be a positive, as all four will join their squad in six days' time, positively proving that a negative can be positive and a positive can be preposterously negative. 
the only contagious thing about this Pakistan team is their negativity because they will positively explode with national fervor fizzing to a drawn conclusion oh I think I just discharged something myself with all that excitement oh best I go clean up hello goodbye oh, oh. Smells!